So this video is a short continuation of the last one, just to uh, get you started on actually uploading your application to the App Store or to the Play—I mean Play Store, not App Store. Uh, so first, you go on and obviously validate that your program works. Here, I have a little application that just counts how many days are until a specific date. So until the days, months, year, there are the fifteenth, whatever. There will be. Oh, this isn't days, months, year. This is, this is months, days, year. Whatever, it will. There will be eighty days. Um, and we can see it works as it's supposed to. Buttons work. Even the beat debug button because yes, this is totally a a done app, a working application. Uh, but as you, as you can see, it's all fine. Make sure that. When you want to compile to the App Store, you go on and instead of what your emulated device is, it's x86, you go and select your select ARM V8A or whatever would be the newest one. I went over this in the last video. And then also, also select release because we don't want that, that stupid debug information coming over. Then you click on projects and then inside of projects you can see the Android, there, the Android uh, ARM64 V8A thing. So go on and click on build and then you can see you get a bunch of settings. So first thing we'll do is scroll down until we see this thing. Uh, you might need to open it by it's one of these it might be yeah it is. Yeah it is the Android uh, build Android APK so click click on details there. Sign your package, and if you don't have one, you can click on create and quickly make a uh, signature. Qt makes that pretty easy. Uh, so you can select your platform and stuff, but we're currently interested, this is default weather, we're currently interested in the create template. So click on create template and say copy creative files. I don't know if that's necessary, but I do it and it worked. And yes, we want to reload everything. Now we can see we have a package name a version code, version name, application name, and activity name. Uh, the only thing you actually need to change is your version code. And for the first version, you're obviously going to do version code 1. But as soon as you have a new version you want to upload to the Play Store, I'll go through that again at the end of the episode, you need to change this to version 2 or 3 or 4, just anything that is higher than the last one. Because else, Google doesn't know which version you're actually supposed to use as the newest one. It gets confused or it just doesn't ex let you upload your file. This is where you need to make sure that you're using QMake as a project. Uh, CMake isn't fully supported yet. It might be in the future, but as of version uh, 6... Wait, what version am I running on? As of version 6.2.2, it does not support it correctly. They say it does. It's buggy as all hell. And the XML editor that I showed you right here doesn't work. Even if you go into the source code and change the XML source, it still doesn't work. Just use QML, no, not QML, uh, QMake for now. Uh, anyways, the XML editor also allows us to set an icon and uh, even a splash screen. It just allows us to change up a lot of the things. Uh, anyways, make sure to change this, and I'll also give it a version called 1.1.2, 1 .1 and then also this that version 3. What we can do now is cut, you can see the little, little star, we make sure that we control S, so it's saved, and then we can just build the application as, you know, ARM64 release, and build. I actually forgot to enable something here. If we go back to the uh, projects, build and then into the build apk uh, build, yeah, build android apk make sure to select android app bundle aap this is the only thing the play store actually accepts if you want to run it on just a plain android device for your friends or something deselect this box you don't need it enabled but if you want to upload on the play store make sure this is on and just for ease of access we can enable this one so it automatically opens where the file actually is so build and there our application finished building and here we have a dot aab and the play store would be able to accept this as a file you can give it so it you know can upload it now you would you 
you would be able to follow any other type of tutorial that guides you through how to actually use the Play Store. I won't be doing that since that's not necessary. But there, there you have it. Make sure that if you upload a new version, like I already have uploaded this one, and I'm gonna now make a new version for other other to others to enjoy. Make sure you go back to your manifest.xml and change this to version four. And then you can obviously go build again and upload the new file.